Our heroes have reached the end of the maze. On this show, we've got Giggles for Days. This week on D&D Minus. All right, and we are back. Joining me as always is Achoom the Cat and by popular demand, wow, the gravy train has gone crazy. <laughs> Hashtag gravy train. We're also joined by Gravy the Canis. Gravy, thank you so much for joining us as well. Yeah, you're right, dear. So Gravy, why don't you lead us off? Tell us what happened oh, on the last episode. This is new. <laughs> what, what did happen on the last episode? We, yeah. we, we figured out yeah. a thing with, it was like cutting stuff in half. And then at the last last minute, we realized. That was like, two. That's nope, two that was that's two ago. That was the ago. one before. The maze was the last one. We did that. And then right after, I, you didn't let me finish. And then in the next episode. I summoned so many frogs. We, we were in a maze. And and we we made it to uh, the middle of the maze, which is uh, that's the end of a, a maze, different than a labyrinth. A maze mm. and a labyrinth are different things. We learned that. We learned that capitalism kind of sucks. <laughs> we learned that Damien and Gravy take out far too much health and life insurance. Yeah, we learned that to just don't buy things that are offered <laughs> to you <laughs> by gods. Yeah. But yeah, we got to the middle and then we were, well, we were about to like fight a, <laughs> fight a guy. Actually, you heard many a footsteps. All you know that Dispater cried out, you hate to see someone stuck in a dead end job. Mm. Well, fuck. All right. Shall we jump in? Mm-hmm. All right. Achoom. Gravy. Thanks as always for joining me. Hashtag gravy chain. Hashtag gravy, chain gravy train. Or train. Yeah, that was great. Gra- gravy a, yes, chain. train is pronounced with an R, actually. Yeah. <laughs> gravy chain <laughs> is the S and M subgroup of the Discord of Talk and D. Hashtag woof. <laughs> Would gravy be more into S and M or blockchain? Ooh, definitely blockchain. Ooh, I don't know. All right. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Here's the thing. Was this frog already here from last time or is Anna <laughs> I, already spawning frogs? This frog frogs? was already here from last I time. I didn't have... That was for, there from last time. Okay. I was wondering right. when someone would notice it and uh, <laughs> nobody did. So that's I mean, I great. feel like I did. I feel like I noticed well, it. Well, now you've yeah, solved Anna's now. labyrinth and she's the dungeon master now. So... So frogs save. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Roll for frogs. Frogs are persistent. I am so excited. By the way, hey, just any time you want to give me control over the token browsing that are there, D and D Beyond, and not let me give it to my players, I would. Oh man, I can't. Really, cannot wait uh, for that to happen. All right, everybody, roll that initiative for me. Oh crap! Vardos the Chase, did you already move ahead? I'm I'm very excited about the fight. I want to. Very fight excited about the. Coming All right. Battle. Okay. Ooh, twenty. All right. That's an eighteen for Gravy. That's a twenty for Damien. Sixteen. Sixteen for Vardos the Chaste, and a twelve for Achoom. You love to see it. Mm, Roll in that, yeah. Damien. You were up first. Man, I really don't want. Well, what are we fighting? I yeah, don't I, know I, what's I feel going like on. We need a little more. <laughs> so you have only seen one robot. It was the one at the dead end when you turned the corner, and it has two arms and two swords. Would you would you put the frog on there in the place of the robot yeah. so we know exactly where you mean? Well, I'm not going to refer to locations at all because I don't know if you know this, but this is a podcast. Um, <laughs> but you have seen so far... A frog robot is called a, a ribbit. A robot. A what? A ribbit. Nice. A ribbit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> a ribbot. I liked the emergent tone in Heath's voice there. He had it. He had a goal. He knew what he needed. But like if there had been a fire, he would have been like, mm-hmm, we'll deal with that in one second. A frog <laughs> robot. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ribbit. So Damien should never go first. Can I? Oh, I can trade my. No, I can't trade my turn, but I can like defer my turn, right? You can delay your turn. Yes, you can. <laughs> but, 
This is the first thing in the... This is like not going first in Scrabble. Like, you have to just yeah. go first. <laughs> uh, I'm going to delay. Uh, I'm going to go last. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! All right. Delaying your turn. All right. That means that the robot will be up first. So this robot comes... Oh, it's much better. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy, down thanks, the hallway. Damien. You couldn't buff us since that's literally the only thing you fucking have? <laughs> <laughs> I'll buff you when my, when my delay happens. He'll buff you after your turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so I know what to buff with. Can't heal you if he doesn't directly cause you harm first. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> that's going to be a 21 to hit there, Vardos. Oh, yeah. That yeah, and that'll do eight damage. Fuck. Oh, wait, are we next to the ribbit now? No. What? Oh, you mean did the robot just come down the hall and attack you? Yes, it did. Okay. Got it. Just to be clear, I love the ribbit pun, but it, it, it's, it's not a frog robot. That's just because it, it was a frog. Pretty sure it is, actually. I mean, look, I didn't really have a lot of theming around these. So if you want them to be frogs, they can be frogs. I just don't. Just don't know how it's going to fit into the overall narrative. <laughs> Will you describe the not frog robot then? Just real quick. Yeah. It's large and green with a round jaw okay. and a long tongue that projects out of its mouth and does attack damage. That's what it just did to Vardos. That was the worst not frog. Its name is Jeremiah the robot. Which is <laughs> His confusing. name is Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> and can I say, before you guys say any shit about him, he's actually a pretty close friend of mine. Okay. Mm. <laughs> he was. Never understood a single <laughs> word he said because he's Cajun. Are you allowed to say that? I feel like you he are. Said, no, I don't no. think you are. What? The Cajun? I no? thought it was because he was an alcoholic. Oh, sad. He drank all my wine. No, you helped. <laughs> you helped. I did. Wow. Also the story of the pajama party. Gravy, you are up. <laughs> okay, but seriously, um, will you describe the like just general size and appearance of the robot? Just a human picture like a, one of the droids from... Star Wars, but he's got two swords, a short sword and a long sword. Okay. Like C-3PO with a... So he's like stiff. There is no genre, there's no singular droid design. Yeah, right, like exactly, exactly. You couldn't have named any other franchise where a droid from X would have made more meaning. So we're fighting a mouse droid and we can just kick it. This seems yeah, beep, great. Beep, beep, beep. Just a human being between the ages beep, of two beep, and beep. a thousand. C-3PO <laughs> with two swords. Sure. But that means that okay. he's like not very mobile, right? He's pretty mobile. Well, C-3PO's not. Can I talk to this robot real quick? You can. Yes, you can. Hey, uh, robot guy. So we made it to, I think this is the end of your like maze area. Are you, are you mad about that? Are you like... I actually don't see an elevator anywhere, so I don't believe it is. Man, I just work here. <laughs> okay. What, what what's your job? What would you how would you describe your job? I feel like it's attacking us. <laughs> Attack robot, thank you. Attack, Attack robot. All right, all right. You're doing great. I was yeah, yeah, like about it. We're, we're, it, we're yeah. in a fight, is what we're definitely in a fight. I just want to make it clear. I mean, unless you can give me a reason to stop fighting you. Like a raise? I, he just like smacked the shit out of me. I feel like that feel like that would have been a The timing does feel weird. I agree. Could we like headhunt him and like hire him? Ooh, what kind of bennies do you offer? I hear that some of you have a lot of health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have a good deal of insurance. And I, I don't know, there's other things. You're a robot, a lot of stuff. You could, you could like quiet quit, just let us go past, check the rest of that hallway. Mm. Or like, That's largely a myth made up by managers to justify layoffs. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I've heard that because most of them are down here. <laughs> yeah, right, we're, we're fighting then. Okay, all right, cool. Good. I'm going to fight you now. Glad to hear. Uh, right, so I'm going to uh, hit the robot with a sword. All right. Dope. Classic. And that would be a 16 to hit. Ooh, that will not hit. Oh, that will on. hit. That, that will, will hit. hit. That will That hit. will not hit. That that will what Eli? Which one is it? <laughs> I am. I got a little bit lost with my robots, <laughs> but I am now aware that it does not hit, and I'd like you to guys, apologize. There's more than one robot for my actions. So, no, there's that. May, or are there? Maybe. <sighs> Did you do math between two numbers? Is no. It, like, yeah, I was just say, is it like on odd turns that would hit? Or? You did absolute value by accident in subtraction? <laughs> so podcast listener, they're all in a very thin hallway right now. And I was distracted by the image of Gravy having to be like, 
excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, to make his way through to the front to actually hit the robot. Well, he could just step over the cat. Can you put something where the robot is? Please, dear God. There's a token where the robot is. No, No, there isn't. There's nothing. Not to us. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> okay. There you go. There you go. Middle mangler. One. I wondered so what. There's more I'm than middle ma- man- middle mangler. They're called middle manglers, like middle manager. One. So there's more than one. No, maybe he's the only one. Why would he be named <laughs> one? Then the first. <laughs> All right. Bonus actions. Anything? I want to see the org chart. Oh, you get two attacks. Sorry. Wait, so wait. To be clear, I did not hit. Is what did <laughs> not hit with a sixteen. I can see. Okay. Why you would be confused because I seem to have a stroke or time travel, but you did not hit. I promise. Okay, so I scooched past everybody really awkwardly, including mm-hmm. Bardas at the front. I went a little bit to the side and I tried to attack and I missed. And you missed, yeah. Okay, I will use my second attack to try that again. Thank you. And that is a nine. Damn it. And will not hit as well. Fuck me. Cool. You sure. But you know what it is? It's because you realize he's just doing his job, right? You're not, your heart's not in it. I get it. Sympathetic. You can tell. I, I, I said we were fighting, but like I was just messing around as you can tell. No, I get it. Quiet quitting. Wink. <laughs> right? Wink. This guy's on my side. Blink. What? All right. Vardos, you are up. All right, I am going to try to smash him in the head with my mace. Nice. No, I'm going to try to hit him with my sword, too. Also nice. All right, 23. I figure like that does. Oh, that'll hit. I like us a lot better with like two attackers this season. It's it's much cleaner. I know, it's it's <laughs> great <laughs> right? when not everybody wants to be a magic user. Yeah. So I, I did a whopping six damage. Well, that'll take, let's take a little slice across the Nothing chest of this. to turn your nose up at. Robot. I got a second. I have a second attack, too. So That's right. I am also going to smash him in the head with my other sword or whatever. I like that you just have a second sword. <laughs> That's a 23. <laughs> that is 23, which will also hit roll that demolish. I'm glad you guys can see that because, like, what are the fucking odds I'd get back-to-back 18s there? I know. <laughs> and a 10 on damage. Ooh, Ooh. 10 damage. All right. Yeah. So this first one, it lays a scratch on, but then... First you, one, huh? Or the first <laughs> oh, one you... First attack. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, first the first attack. <laughs> I, I, thought, I, I was just trying to call you out. No, <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Look, we all get it. I labeled the robots, all right? <laughs> <laughs> this first one just does a little bit of damage, but this second attack, you take a big old chunk out of the iron that sort of concealed the workings of this robot, and all these gears and stuff are exposed underneath at this point. Achoom, you are up. Okay, wait, but I, I gotta. I have a. I, I want to say something. I want to. Oh turn, yeah, say that's some free, badass shit. That's, absolutely, oh, yes, it's a free absolutely. action. I'm gonna turn to gravy, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna go like under my breath, quiet quitting. You're probably not even gonna get to invited to the pizza party. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to curse him with a firebolt. Please. Okay, then roll it. That's a critical fail. Oh. No, it isn't. Oh, that's a seven, not that a is, one. Hey, that is a seven. That's hit. a 13. Still so doesn't you, hit him. Okay. You will miss. Fuck this guy. Fuck him. This little robot face. Movements, action, uh, bonus actions, anything? No, will not be moving any closer. No. All right. This dude. Excellent. All right. I just peeked out behind Damien and said, curse you, and then went back. <laughs> You hear some clanking, and then another robot appears from around the corner what? at the end of the hall. So surprised. I know. Were, oh, were my you God. Surprised? Another one? I was surprised. That one's labeled Middle Mangler 3. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have figured out my puzzle, but there might be another one somewhere around here. <laughs> puzzle Master. Oh, and then there's more clanking, and another robot appears in the hallway. Which hallway? The one in front of you. Oh, man. Clank. The good news, guys, is that I can grab the tokens. So now he's got a long ways to go. Oh, oh God damn it. No, my robots. <laughs> they really have turned against me. I didn't know token manager was my weakness. <laughs> Damien, you have let everyone around you get hurt. Are you ready to take a turn? Yeah, technically I have like just skipped turn because if I hadn't delayed, I would have gone here anyways because I was first. That's right. So I have done... <laughs> Well, you should get two turns then, right? Ooh. Yeah, you get turn, and then, and then you're going to go... That would be two turns, yes. Uh, so, <laughs> how is everybody on health? 
<laughs> uh, oh, so um, healing doesn't work. Healing does right. not work. Remember? Oh, still? Right, because we're, yeah, we still have the coins. We're still in the maze. Of, yeah. We can hand each other hit points, but we can't use spells. Yeah, it's almost like um, fucking Ryan Seacrest should have asked a tomb to fill us in instead of fucking gravy or something. <laughs> so, you know. Don't come for Ryan Seacrest like that. <laughs> He's in the beginning of the show. People aren't sure if they like him. Sorry, Ryan Seacrash. Uh, <laughs> but definitely come for gravy whenever. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Uh, like a, an area spell really quick. Just give me one second. No worries. If it's if it sounds like I'm like smoking a bullet, that's I'm actually looking up an area that's spell. Foley. As well. Yeah, he's looking <laughs> up a thing. thing. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Heath, if it sounds Heath. like I'm playing the bagpipes you over here, I'm actually stands? smoking a are, bowl. Are so. you whispering to me? Yeah. Heath, do you see that up in the stands? Is that is that the rat? No, next to Bartholomew the Mouse. You next, know who that is? To, next to Bartholomew? That's Senior Pets. Wait, what? Hey, Senior Pets. What's up? Hello, Heath. Do you think uh, the audience has met me yet? I'm yeah, guessing the, maybe. Like yeah, entirely out of context for them. yeah, absolutely. This is like a month later, I think, maybe. So if I have a 30-foot cube spell, right? Mm -hmm. That means 30 feet from like me casting it as the center, right? I think it'll usually tell you that you get to choose where the center of the cube is, depending on it. Mm -hmm. But if it radiates in a cube out from you, then yes. I think it comes from me because it says you create a pattern that weaves through the air inside a 30-foot cube. So I think if if, it, if I weave the pattern... It doesn't it say anything other than that? No. Nothing after that? I mean, it says a bunch, but it doesn't say anything about location. Oh. Then it actually, I think as long as it's within your sight and the range, let me Unless it check. says starting from Oh, you, there's a range of 120 feet. So that probably means I can cast it 120 feet away. Yeah. yeah. So you can okay. center the cube anywhere within 120 feet. Okay. And it's a 30-foot cube. Yes. But there's also no verticality in this universe. <laughs> there is so, no verticality in this square. universe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if I am going to move behind or ahead of gravy, I guess, actually, mm -hmm. I think that I can get all of them. Yeah. One is 22 feet away. And then the closest one is nine feet. Away. The furthest one is 22 feet away. So actually, if I move. Uh, you want to scooch past? You're going to scooch past me? You want to scooch? You want, I actually, th I think I'm going to scooch. I was going to ask if Gravy wanted an attack of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, hold on. Qu good question. Can I do an attack of opportunity, miss Damien and hit the robot? <laughs> Come on. I you think know, they... you've discovered D&D's weakness. That's how everyone gets infinite turns. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm being sucked back into my cube. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're not engaged with me in an attack, so like, I don't know why you'd get an attack of opportunity on me. Yeah, Eli, didn't even make sense. <laughs> Stupid. It's a dumb joke. Dumb. I'm not going to move past I Gravy. It. Thank you, Senior I'm actually going to sidle up <laughs> next to Gravy right nope, here. So you sure aren't because two creatures, two medium-sized creatures can't occupy the same Absolutely. Five space. If I move Gravy just a tiny bit, that looks nope. like we could fit. Let me tell you about the birds <laughs> and the bees, <laughs> mm -hmm. Eli. Nope. I am a goth kid. Mm. I am very skinny. I believe that we could fit. A dog and a goth kid, they could fit I'm that. a cat and you still can't do that. We could do a chicken fight in the pool thing. Absolutely. Here's what I will tell you. Here's what I will tell you. If you want to roll a dexterity, saving throw. If you succeed, I will let you occupy a five foot square. If you do not, something bad's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to move sl just barely off of gravy. Yes, you are. You're going to move right here is where you're going to move. Yeah. In the five foot square. <laughs> right between me and the bad guy. Okay. Yeah. Right, Boom. Looks good to me. I like it. It's going to go great. And I am going, let me just make sure that I can get the farthest. Okay, yeah, the furthest guy is 30 feet. So I'm going to cast Hypnotic Pattern. Oh, yeah. At the two further down the hallway. Mm -hmm. And I've done this before, but it is essentially a wisdom saving throw on a failed save. The creature becomes charmed for the duration. I really hope robots can be charmed. Mm. So we're going to try it. Wisdom saving throw? Of 15. So you are trying to charm these two down the hallway from you. Let's see how they do. All right, that's a 10. So that's a failure. And that's a 15, which is a tie. So I believe it's a success, right? I don't know. You're the dungeon master. It's a saving throw. So I believe it's a success. Yeah. Yes. All right. So the one right in front of you, he is charmed. Nice. And the one further down the hall is not. Oh, and now, guys, the spell ends for an affected creature if it takes any damage. Okay. okay so don't hit middleman. Don't hit the, the middleman. Yeah. Yeah. He is incapacitated and has a speed of zero, so we shouldn't need to 
you know, do anything because he'll just stay there. Oh, his buddy can't get around him. Oh, nice. He actually can. It's just difficult terrain. Oh. Mm. And it'll take him like a whole turn to squeeze by him, I bet. So let's let's bonk the close one. Uh-huh. All right, it's your turn. Yeah. It is my your turn, turn, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Charm the other one. <laughs> Again. I think I'm out I think I'm out of that. Oh, right. It's concentration though. Oh, it is concentration, true, also. And also I man, I'm so angry I can't cure. I also am angry that you can't cure. <laughs> I, too, am angry that you can't cure. Because I gave away a bunch of my life to you guys. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to pay you back. Totally. Yeah, no, I've heard that. I've heard that you're <laughs> going to pay me back. I've heard that several times now. Do we think blindness would work on a robot? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I would think so. Okay. I'm going to cast blindness on the one that's right by the three of us. Nice. Love it. Quiet quitter. It is a constitution saving throw of 15. All right. That's a 12. Nice. So, the robot in front of you is blinded. All right. Movement. Anything? Bonus actions. Anything? Well, I moved there, so I'm not going to move again. Mm-hmm. No, I'll stay where I am. All right. Fantastic. All right. The robot right in front of you that you just blinded is going to take a swing at you, Damien, with disadvantage. Thanks to that blindness. Let's see how we do here. That is a nat one. Can't get yeah. any worse than that. So it just swings itself in the opposite direction. And from now on, it'll be facing the wrong direction when I chose <laughs> to attack you. And it, it stumbles the wrong way down the hall. So I'm going to give Gravy, Vardos, and Damien an attack of opportunity <laughs> if you want one. Dope. Nice. Fuck, yeah. Ooh, what am I going to do with my attack of opportunity? Just hit it with a loot. Fuck, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go first with uh, sword, hit sword with guy. Yep. Thank you. It's going to take me way longer than I thought. I, I, I was going to say, for, for the guy who jumped out to go first, you're uh, <laughs> taking your sweet time on your own. Okay, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to do an attack with my sword because I said it crazy a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> I said each word in the wrong place in a sentence where I was trying <laughs> to, to say, I would like to man. attack with sword now. Here I go. And we'll be keeping the old audio and deleting the new audio. <laughs> 21 to hit. Ooh. 21 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Roll that damage. Nice. Seven damage. Seven damage. Nice. Well done. Vardos, you want that attack of opportunity? I will I will take one of those as well. Uh, with advantage. 22. Not what Whoa. you needed. Woo. Well, roll no, need roll with advantage just in case you get a crit. Oh, okay. I'll roll with advantage. But that's my damage. <laughs> yep. I'm well, keeping my 11 damage. damage. Keep that damage. Um, and Damien, you want to reach out for a little scratch? A little Absolutely. slappy slap there? Pull out my dagger. Oh, he has a dagger. In my head, it's like way too ornamental. Like it's one of those ones that like a teenage boy gets at a <laughs> gas station. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's got a wolf howling at the moon on it. I was informed by a gentleman on late night television that they were never making this again. Is that the stag horn? Yeah, okay. So I got a 20. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Roll that damage. <laughs> I got four damage. Four, four damage. damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, Gravy, you are up. Everybody pats me on the back, and I just kind of, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Bl- your, your dagger just snaps in half the instant it touches this. Oh, it was a collector's item. <laughs> gravy, you are up. All right. You got a blind robot facing the other direction. I'm attacking the blind robot facing the other direction. Nice. That's 21 to hit. That will hit. Nice. Roll with advantage, just in case you get the nat 20. That's a 20. Okay. Either way. First <laughs> one. Is one. <laughs> and here's the damage. That got worse. Great. Seven. <laughs> All right. That's seven damage. All right. Attack number dose. Attack number two. 15 to hit. Mm-hmm. A roll with advantage. 21 to hit. Yeah. 21 to hit. Yeah. Noise. And that's nine damage. Nine damage. Oh, this robot is looking rough. So you're just... As it turns and spins, just arms are getting clobbered off and chunks of armor away. This thing is barely keeping its feet. Okay. I'd like to use an action surge to take one additional action on my turn and attack again. Oh, do it. All right. And that is a 25 to hit. Oh, is that an at 20? Whoa. No, not quite. All right. But that is 10 10 more damage. 10 more damage. Yeah. You... Get this final thing. You cut that off this robot and it just turns into ash and gently fades away. And as the ash blows away, it says, 
I was really looking forward to retirement. <laughs> Aww. I'm going to say we call that loud quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And I get one more attack if I reduce a creature to zero hit points. Mm. You sure do. Oh, hell yeah. Get the one that's not charmed. All right. I don't know if you, if you can. can. Do you have any ranged attack? You haven't used your movement yet. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't oh. moved yet. So I can move up to like here ish. Is that cool? I mean, you kind of have to squoonch past an enemy, but I guess so. Okay. I've squoonched. He's a charmed enemy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a charmed enemy. So he's not going to bother you. All right. So I squoonched it up. No problem. Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, uh, you just you just hanging out there? Mm-hmm. Cool. Really loving that goth kid down at the end of the hall. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we'll talk about your job in a second. I just got to do it. Do you know if he's seeing anyone? <laughs> ah, <laughs> circle back to that. Did I make it weird? Sure did. Sure I never did. know how to ask in these situations. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Jumping into any conversation is like the first thing you say. You don't even know. Ah, oh, it's tough. I think I'm seeing somebody's mom back in the yeah, city, no, but I, I don't remember say, yes. Oh, are you staying in touch with her? Oh, that's a great question. It's too early to you tell. You better. Are you kidding? We're in a maze. We okay. don't have any reception, so. So, Damien, what? What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Do you say anything about me? Do you want me to tell him what you laugh, just said? Laugh like I made a really funny joke. <laughs> laugh like I made a joke. <laughs> No, go ahead and just fight. Oh, you suck, uh, man. I, I'm going to, when no, I'm not I, charmed, I I'm going to kill you. As if you had made a funny joke, so. No, I asked you to laugh like I told a funny joke. <laughs> I, I, me too. It's too right? late. Pick up your fucking cues. What was the joke? Hey, Gravy, what was the joke? <laughs> drop, it, drop it one more time. <laughs> John. Con. Ribbit. Senior pets. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm attacking the uh, uncharmed. I don't even know what senior pants is right now. First of all, senior, pet. senior, senior pets. pets. I was pets. And I okay. excitedly came into your arms last night and told you all about him. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> when we were okay, doing cool, our cool, nightly cool, cool, check-in, cool, I told you how excited yes, I was right. how about excited senior about pets. The, the new, okay. brand new, problematic character I created who can only be seen by me and Michelle Bachman. <laughs> 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 I forgot about that. Okay. Amazing. All right. Continue. <laughs> Unappreciated in my time. I'm so glad I only edit two shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 21 to hit the other one. Oh, all right. That'll definitely hit. Boom. And that'll be 10 more damage. Oh, 10 more damage. Oh, yeah. All right, Vardos, you are up. All right. I'm going to do some cool, like, wall bouncy, chunk, chunk, chunk kind dive of Dive rolls, yes. Dive We're rolls, obviously. A little bit of dive rolling down to this guy, and I am going to attack also with my sword. Sure. Uh, 24 to hit. That'll hit. Nine damage. Nine damage. And then I get to hit him again. 18. That'll hit. All right. And four damage. Four damage. (laughs) Don't sneeze at four damage. (laughs) No, don't. All right. (laughs) (laughs) If you think about it, that's actually a pretty good size. I've heard. (laughs) That's a great size of damage. It's actually probably a little above that. Charmed Robot is like, it's not about the size. Wink. (laughs) (laughs) Achoom, you are up. All right. I I'm literally to... was like, when is the dungeon master going to say who's up next? That's... <laughs> you okay, buddy? I was looking at Senior Pets. He's doing a problematic mime. Oh, no. I'm, I'm ignoring him. I'm not letting okay. him get yeah, away ignore with the him. Ignore him. All right. They don't talk so... like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to trick trot, trick trot, trick trot down this way. Look over my shoulder. Give a, uh, I curse you to the one at the very end of the, end of the hallway that everybody's attacking. Mm-hmm. With a, oh, fuck, where is it? This time. Just a quick suggestion might not be relevant at the moment, but the next time you do a fireball, you should put on a little fire fighter hat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. I'm going to take off my wizard's hat and put on a little fireman's hat. And just like, boop, little boop over there. That's a, uh, that's a 22 to hit. Yep, oh, that'll hit. Excellent. Dope. Is it rolling for me? Come on. Roll me my roll me my damage. There we go. And that's 10 damage. 10 yeah. damage. This fire goes sailing in between the robots and your coworkers. Quimption. Yeah. While I'm over here, can I take a little looky loo down this hallway? Just like a peep around the corner? Yes, you absolutely can. Just to see what's in that direction. Yeah, and there's nothing. You you can see there's the nothing. whole hall. 
I can see the whole hall. Okay. Yep, you see the whole hall. All right. You know what yeah. they say about curiosity in cats? Oh, actually, Achoom, you know what oh, I realized? Oh, oh. When you look down this hall, you do realize on the right-hand side, there is a wooden door mm. along this hall. I don't like doors. All right, let's do this. Let's continue True. on. Where How we, cat-like are we going? That's <laughs> just, just wanted to know. <laughs> All right. I can never just, I can never decide if I want to be in them or out of them, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like you scratch at it for a while and then people mm-hmm. yell at mm-hmm. you, but then you didn't want to go don't out. Like you close just scratch. You know? don't I like always close. want to be out of them. It's, it's weird. I have like the opposite. <laughs> I have to go through them. Wow. All right. This robot is going to multi-attack with two long sword attacks against you, Gravy. I am going to shield Grave. Uh, yeah, I, I could shield Gravy and I think force him to... Ooh, nice. Disadvantage, right? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Nice, buddy. Okay, so the first one was a 22. Second one's a 20. That'll hit, though, right? They will. Okay, so that first attack is going to do six damage. And now I will roll that attack again. That's a 22 and a 19. Yep. Yep. And that'll do... Nine damage. He rolled really well. Total of 15. Total of 15. I am pretty close to dead here. Yeah. Sorry, this is not my best shield. I actually have a better one I left in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and Robot was charmed. Does he get to make like a wisdom saving throw or something? Uh, let me check, but I think that's correct. I assume he does. I think that's what I had him do last time. You might have to look it up as well. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's a wisdom saving throw. And that is a nat... 20. So this Come robot goes, on. wait a second. You are never interested in me. I was just about to hit on him, too. This is terrible. You hate to see oh, it. Oh, I was just about to ask him where the elevator was. Misconnections. <laughs> Misconnections all around. We should have asked him where the elevator was. But that is the end of his turn. I will say that. All right. Damien, you are up. Just the one turn this time, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm a joker. I hate it. I hate it. I'm cunning all of that. What? You shut up. Senior Pets was distracting me. Senior Pets, <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> Damien, you uh, are up. I, I'm looking at yeah. uh, oh, okay. a spell. All right. Well, then let's get into it with Senior Pets. <laughs> so, hey, Eli, while he's doing that, can you, like, uninvisible this this part right here where we're all standing? Just maybe uninvisible. You'd love that, wouldn't you? I would. Love, you'd <laughs> love just a little Damien. bit more visibility. That would be great. Let's see. We haven't really, we haven't done any like checks in this battle. We haven't really had any, you know, additional die needed. Okay. I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on Ooh. the one that woke up from my charm. The one that just woke up, not the one that everyone's been attacking already. Yeah. Oh, the one that I'm just excited woke up. about this. This is going to be like some goth ASMR at the same time. I wish it's like a, me, a low amount of psychic damage, but yes. <laughs> Using that? Okay. All right. Roll that attack for me. Well, it's a wisdom 15 save. Oh, all right. Never mind. I figured he had low wisdom because he didn't pass the first one. So, uh, That's a 12. So do that damage. Yeah, it, it won't be a done. But. There's a new frog. Oh, not bad. 14. 14? Nothing to sneeze at. No. I should do that more often. Uh, movement? Anything else? I think I'm going to... There's a second new frog. <laughs> I think I'm going to like just peek back around the corner like that. So kind of like uh, parallel to a tomb so that we're both hiding around the corner. All right. The so you guys, the, the spellcasters are now hiding around the corners while Vardos <laughs> and Gravy fight robots. That's what, that's what spellcasters are. That's what friends are for. Yeah. That's what snipers are for. Okay. Gravy, you are up. All right, so are they both now alert and awake and evil again? Uh, yes. And we haven't hit Middle Mangler 2, but we have hit Middle Mangler, whatever, 3? He just hit Middle Mangler 2. Uh, you guys have been doing some work on Middle Mangler 3. Oh, we, okay, so we've done more work on 3. So mm-hmm. I'm going to go after 3, see if we can get rid of that guy. Do it. Roll that attack for me. That is a 26. Whoa. To is that a natural 20? And uh, that is a 19, but it counts for a thing when I, because I have something with 19s and 20s. They're both, they both count as crits for me. Yeah. Roll that crit for me, baby. All right. That's going to be a 10. That's a Damn. 10. All right. Man. Well, bad done. rolls. Low rolls, but good damage nonetheless. All right. You get a second attack. Indeed. The robot's looking rough, by the way. All right. 16 to hit. I will not hit. 
That's a swing and a miss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vardos, you are up. All right, I am going to attack Middle Mangler 3 as well. Nice. Ugh, 13. That will not hit. I have a second attack. 21. 21, that will hit. Ooh, ooh. And I will do five damage. Five damage. Nothing to sneeze at. All right. Achoom, you're peeping around uh, the corner. What are you doing? Ooh, I. Oh, sorry. This is probably too late, but when I score a critical hit, I get to attack again. You do? Yeah, great, great weapon master attack. Oh, that's right. Take that other Ooh. attack for me. Well, then. I'm going to wait until Gravy does another right. fucking attack is what I'm going to do. <laughs> now I'm just picturing that you're holding your sword like high in the air while Vardos does his thing. To, you don't want to <laughs> yeah. interrupt. I miss real quick and, and, and do a little feeble <laughs> ass hit okay, while he's powering up. Yeah. <laughs> Come in, <laughs> me. Thank right. you, Morgan. So, matching my fucking energy. <laughs> that's a crit. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I think you can only do it once, though. I don't think you can do it twice in a row. I so, don't see any language that let's suggests sure. that. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. That would be, that would be broken no D&D &D if that was the case. <laughs> well, I mean, not, like, it's not like he's going to keep rolling crits. I feel like he should get another. Yeah. Like, there's, there's only a 5% chance of doing it. Yes, you can make one melee. Oh, God, what's the fucking word? Melee. Melee. <laughs> melee. It's always the opposite. I'm always like, hey, Eli, be careful. Make sure you don't say that stupid word wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get to make one as a bonus action. So no extras. You can only have one bonus action in D&D &D 5e unless you're a monk with a special ability. So, oh, I just did a little math in my head and I realized that the other type of attack is slightly better when it's doubled. So here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. 10, which is not good rolls again. <laughs> but, 10, but it is enough to take out this robot. Nice. Ooh! And I get another attack because I re reduced him to zero. <laughs> yes, that's right. You yes, do. Wait, you is do. it a bonus action though? Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't go. Okay. <laughs> this dog just swinging violently in a <laughs> circle. Yeah, I gotta give you the extra attack. I know you're technically only supposed to have one bonus action, but a critical hit and reducing a creature to zero, I'm gonna give you the extra attack, but just the one. Okay, so I have one more attack right now. Yes. Absolutely. All right. I'm gonna go after middle mangler two. Do it. That's an 18 to hit. 18, that'll hit. He looks at you and says, I thought you were the hookup. <laughs> <laughs> Roll that damage for me. 13 damage. Wow. 13 Holy damage. Holy Nothing shit. to sneeze at. You are mowing through these robots. All right. Achoom. Okay. After a dramatically a attack, it's like, oh, God, what is the, what's the flavor text for <laughs> Gravy realizing he can attack more and then just killing a robot? <laughs> 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 Gravy broke out of the turn-based nature of D&D &D for a second. <laughs> I just turned into Neo. I stopped some bullets in midair for no reason. It's fun. It's fun. You look up into the sky. You see me staring down at the map for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> but it's senior pets. I am going to remove my little fireman's helmet. Ooh. I'm going to put on a witch's hat. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm going to witch bolt that motherfucker. Here. Do it. That's 24 to hit, baby. That'll hit. Do that damage. All right. Come on. Big money, big money, big money. That was not big money. That is that is a 13. That's good. 13 damage, you know what? Nothing wrong that's with better. It. That's better than again. I thought it was a one and not a seven. So never mind. All right. Mid. This robot is going to go for you again, Gravy. He's going to take you down with him. I'm going to shield him again. So oh, that's right. Disadvantage. You were supposed to be the heezy. <laughs> right. I'm like, are you talking? I thought you were flirting with the other, the goth guy. I think he was using you to get to me. What? Yeah, you were supposed to be his wingman. Yeah, that's a seven. So that will not hit. That will not hit. All right, try that again. That's a 16. That won't hit. And don't even need to roll the other one. A uh, 13. Yeah. All right. So he just swings blindly. At, well, not blindly. He swings wildly at you. And then his turn is over. Damien, you are up. It's really important that he didn't hit me just now. That's good stuff. So <laughs> yeah. vital yeah. that he so didn't hit you. So very important. Are you like at one, that. two, yes, or three or something? I'm at like, eight mm -hmm. out of 59. So you get your okay. podcast listed on doesthedogdie.com. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's okay. I can, I can give you like five more. 
or whatever. Oh, yeah, we can hand around hit points. Yeah, yeah. Coins. yeah, yeah, but it's can. not great. It's not great. No, yeah, it's we don't great. want to. We don't want to. <laughs> Do that. Guys, we'll square up all this stuff. Like when right after this, yeah. probably. Oh, or yeah, whatever. no. Everybody gets what they're Maybe owned. just next time we're all out at like a diner together. Like yeah. we'll figure it right. Totally. Yeah. I don't have Venmo. <laughs> 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 Gravy is just cutting up lines of Vardos's health points. We're all gonna figure this out at the end of the night. Let's just have a good time right now. <laughs> all right, you check. It's fine. You check? Okay. I'm gonna do dissonant whispers again. At the middle mangler too. Do it. Mm. Wisdom saving throw. Great idea. Of 15. Yeah, 60 feet. Okay. Yeah, wisdom save 15. That is a 15. Boo. Mm -hmm. So is it half damage? Hey, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, half as much damage. Somebody is mousing over the frog I just created. <laughs> yes, I'll roll it and then half. Yeah. Not great. Seven. So three or four. Four damage. I heard that. He just turns back. I heard that. <laughs> All righty. Gravy, you are up. Yeah, Gravy. Okay. Uh, just outside context question. How are Bartholomew and Sing mm. Pets getting along? Because they're next to each other, right? Are they hanging out and talking? So... Bartholomew is really jeering. Where's Bartholomew right Bartholomew's now? Bartholomew's in, in the stands. In the stands, sitting right next to Senor Pets. Yeah. And an ogre. Oh. As established in the last episode. Okay. This is wildly out of context for me. Oh, maybe a chum didn't need to be the one to catch us up. Maybe perhaps Fardos <laughs> should have been the one to catch yeah. us up. Yeah. Ooh. I'm losing my job. <laughs> I'm going to go and I take off my hat and put on a little straight jacket. Oh, <laughs> all right. Sorry, I lost focus. I just now while I was doing nothing, I was thinking about I was thinking about this thing in the stands. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack <laughs> the, the guy, robot in front of us. Do it. That's a ten. Oh, nope. to hit. Oh, don't like that. How about that second attack? Though? I'm gonna try another attack, and that's thirteen. Oh. Neither of those will hit. And gravy, you know, it seems like I didn't answer your question, but it's because I was waiting to see how this attack went. <laughs> <laughs> Senior Pets is doing an incredibly erotic dance. And you're worried because you can see him, which means that you're either me or Michelle Bachman. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why you missed, is because you're going through an identity crisis. Fair. Guys, do you know, you see a, like a, Cat with a Spanish accent doing a dance. Oh my God! Focus, focus, oh, focus. Okay, so it's a cat. Got it. How do you see the accent? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see the accent. No illusions. <laughs> you guys saw that just now, right? You can see it in my dance. All right, Vardos. Two questions. One, it is your turn. Second of all, please continue to <laughs> gaslight gravy that you can't see <laughs> senior pet. <laughs> All right, neither of those are questions, but I'm going to go ahead and attack with my sword. <laughs> it's a request. It's a beg. It's a 18. humble. That'll hit. All right, we're going to... Oh, you know what? That's not the correct... I, I got to roll a different die for that because um, I rolled the two-handed, but I've got my my shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the rules. So three. Oh, three damage. <laughs> oh man. Brutal. I'm sorry, but I, gotta, I have it's another okay. attack. I have another attack. I'm going to attack him again. 18 again. 18 Ooh. again. Hittle again. Fingers crossed. I will hittle again, and this time we got four. Four. Okay. Not much. All right. Damage. This robot's looking rough, though. Looking okay. That's rough. good to know. All right. Achoom. Now, if I'm remembering Witch Bolt correctly, can't you just do that damage again now as your bonus action? Oh, shit. You're right. I can. One second. Oh, it has like a, like a repeater yeah. clause or something? Aftershock. It's 18. That'll do it. This witch bolt comes flashing out of the sky and that robot collapses to dust as well. The dead end job has been defeated. I slowly move into the group. <laughs> hey guys, how'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> everybody thanks so much for listening to the show the next episode of d and d minus will be out on friday april 5th or thursday april 4th at 7 a.m for patrons 
It's going to be a short one. Just a heads up. This is the end of the diss arc. I'm sure you guessed that already, which means we're going to be doing a little prepisode for the next one. That's right. Got a little prepisode action going on in the next one, which means it's going to be a little short. Give you a heads up. And if you're feeling sad about that and you're thinking, oh, I need my D&D minus fix, why not sign up? to support the show over at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus where when I post this episode that's coming up, not the one that you're listening to right now, but next episode, I will also post a new dungeon masters corner. So why not hop on, become a patron. Now you can ask a question for the dungeon masters corner and then you can listen to the dungeon masters corner. It'll be like, you didn't even have a short episode for the fun. All right. And hey, if you can't give us money, don't worry about it. We love those five-star reviews wherever you get your podcasts or even just shooting us a nice little email. We love all that stuff. I'm glad y'all are enjoying the show. This was such a fun episode to make. I can't wait for you to see what is in store for the rest of the adventure. It just gets more and more wild and fun. All right, let's get you back to the show. believe senior pets didn't count us. I did four and five like senior pets. <sighs> oh no. I need to know who this is now. I mean I know. I do do we though or no? Uh Are yeah, I off? need to know what my husband's doing online. <laughs> yeah, Thank sure you we very much. To him. <laughs> Should, for context, <laughs> just in case you want to insert it, the words senior and pets were next to each other during the roasts we were recording. Like old pets, oh. like senior <laughs> pets. Immediately Eli was like uncontrollably obsessed with the idea of a Puss in Boots character named <laughs> Senior Pets. Senior Pets. Who uh, very quickly adopted some very problematic views. He has a gun. Society and would. politics. He can only be seen by me and Michelle Bachman. <laughs> oh, dear. So I just would have found out once I downloaded the Bulgarity for Charity stuff. Sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If, cool. No, because that one's on the Thomas <laughs> Cecil show. Yeah, so. I think it is. Oh, okay. oh yeah. so you'll never know. I'll never know. <laughs> and neither will anybody, yeah. anyone else. Oh, we got the whole map. <laughs> That's right, baby. So as the final robot falls and crumples to dust at your feet, the wall <laughs> opens up <gasps> in front of you, slides aside, and just up a few stairs, you see a shining golden Elevator. Can you point that out where? to us on the map? I don't map? think yeah, we're, point that yeah, out I don't think because I don't think we're right here yet. Place. Well, I, I couldn't make a giant golden elevator, so it's right fucking here in the center. Is where it is. But we're like, yeah, but that's hey, still hey, a wall. Like not hey, going. The wall opens. Yeah. Okay, the wall opens. Yeah, 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 we're totally. just <laughs> fine. Look, look at me. We're just fine. Oh yeah, you're right. You know what? You know what? Everyone, walk around for a little while. Because I didn't have any more traps planned, so it's really just going to be about navigating your way around here. You guys want to run back through the spear area with the, with the coins? Oh, I did it, everybody. You get attacked by a bunch of frogs. What the fuck is that? A frog. I want to do the thing in like my Super Mario World where you run, you get the silver coins, you run back, and you can get 100 lives. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Start doing back jumps so that you can jump through the elevator door and get to the final boss fight. Yeah, exactly. But you see the giant golden elevator. And as you head towards it, Dispater's voice booms out around you and says, let's hear it for him, folks. You're champions of the maze of Dispater. And the crowd goes wild. Gravy, I'm putting you on the pedestal. Oh, stop. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did want to go here. Okay. As the crowd roars around you, the golden elevator that marked the center of the lab broadens and rounds, forming a tube shaped upwards, and its door hisses open to let you inside. The door slides closed behind you, and everything is instantly silent. At first, you think this elevator is decorated in polka dots or even an odd pattern of tiny circles, but then you realize what it actually is. This elevator has just one button. And next to it is the label one, followed by hundreds of zeros, thousands, tens of thousands of zeros. The zeros are what run around the elevator, across the floor and around and over the ceiling, an infinite looping line of zeros lost amongst itself. With a satisfying ding, the elevator shoots upwards at unimaginable speeds. Your cheeks 
flap with G-force as the elevator <laughs> climbs a mind-bogglingly amount of... Oh my God, we're going to the bajillion floor. This is so cool. Uh, <laughs> does Gravy stick his head out the window? <laughs> if you gotta, think I won't, I just gotta movie? bite the air. Heretic? <laughs> Heresy. What? The thing with the girl who gets her head knocked off. I'll do that to you. Oh, God. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> wow. I thought I was just going to do the dog like sniffy thing. <laughs> but no. No. It was death. Hereditary. <laughs> it's hereditary, everybody. It's hereditary. <laughs> Your cheeks flap with G force as the elevator climbs a mind boggling amount of floors in just a few seconds. And then it's over. There's another pleasant ding, and you find yourselves tumbling out of the elevator, queasy but unharmed into the penthouse of the Tower of Despater on the one bajillionth floor. You take a look around yourselves and it's pretty nice. Or at least it would be if it wasn't so damn dirty. A fine layer of dust is on every surface and so whatever perfection this place once contained feels frozen in time and lost to disrepair. What was once a wonderfully stocked bar stands empty and alone among hundreds of evaporated bottles. A plentiful buffet once stocked with the finest foods imaginable has dissolved beyond rotten into disintegration and goo. But there's a Big Mac that's just fine. But the Big Mac is exactly the same. Yeah, it's exactly the... I mean, it'll make you real sick, but it looks the same. (laughs) And finally, you hear a voice from the other room that says, Fantastic! Uh, y- you made it! C- come on in! Further inside, you find a lovely office where a chagrined looking dispater is shamefacedly attempting to clean with his demonic powers. Uh, uh, apologies for the look of the place. I guess it's been uh, so long since I thought anybody might come up here. I guess I let the place get a little um, musty. I'm going to pointedly sneeze five or six times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drag my finger across a surface. Yeah. <laughs> Am I still dressed like Dispater? I mean, unless you changed outfits in the elevator, yeah. Good point. Okay. Just, I'm Didn't we have that. like a long rest before that last one? Anyway? You have not had any long rests yet, no. Oh, fuck. But you're not going to need them because you're doing a conversation. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> Just two guys talking. I mean, look, you could really fuck up this conversation and then you might need one, but it's too late because you didn't get one. <laughs> I take it not many people win this uh, award show. No, no. um, uh, Nobody, actually. You're all, uh, you're the first. You see, D- Dis used to be a lot more like the, uh, the folks upstairs. You know, we would pour molten coal down people's throats, uh, put thorny crowns on them, bags of coins that weighed them down while they tried to keep their head above the water. And then, well, then uh, Asmodeus came along and he said that times were changing and we had to change with it. Greed had become so much more up there than picking a pocket or robbing a house. You know, how do you punish someone for unfair mortgage rates? What torture do you inflict on someone who doesn't buy fair trade tea? It all just became complicated. And as he talks, he sits at his desk and Despater starts to take himself apart. His perfect horns come off of his head, revealing a mostly bald and distinctly less ruby scalp. He steps out of his leg extensions and shrugs out of chest expanders till the devil sitting before you looks much more like a brightly painted clown than the charming head of Dis. And he says, don't get me wrong. At first it was fun, right? The cars, the new buildings, the the grub thugs. It was all so new and shiny, but eventually, you know, the very systems we designed to torture the others became a way to torture ourselves. I mean, look at this. And then he points to a door at the back of his office made of solid gold. The strange thing about this door is that it has no knob. In fact, it just has a tiny slot in the door. And he says, that is the door out of this layer. And aside from the incredibly disconcerting fact that the tallest door in this layer of hell somehow leads you further down, you know what opens it? A dollar. Guys, guys, we got that dollar coin. We have the, the gold dollar. Coin from the we guy. have the dollar. We have the, we have the dollar. We have that. You, you have a dollar? Yeah, not, it's not like a credit or like a buy one and this is worth a dollar. It, it's like a genuine... Just a straight up dollar. Who has that, by the way? Somebody has that, right? I think I have it. 
One of us has it. It's really funny if we lost it. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no. Can we go back down to the labyrinth? I think it... Oh. <laughs> One of the Bitcoins stole it from me. Despater looks at you in disbelief for a moment. And then he starts laughing hysterically, unable to stop. Tears pour down his face, smearing what you can now tell is his perfect ruby makeup, revealing a splotchy pink complexion underneath. He laughs and laughs until finally he controls himself and says, of course you do. Of course you do. You survived the game and you just so happen to have a dollar. Hey, uh, how about a pecan pie? You got one of those too? I'm going to do prestidigitation mm -hmm. and hold out my little paw and make it look as though I have a teeny tiny pecan pie. <laughs> palm of my hand. <laughs> He reaches out and tries to grab it and realize it's an illusion. And he goes, I, I, I appreciate the effort. I just figured. Oh, I have, I, have I have nuts in my ration sack. No, no, I'm, I was just doing a... Some of them might be pecans. Maybe. That's fine. We don't need to dig down on it. Uh, you said pecan pie. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you were the one that brought it no, up. No, was, it, was like it was like, have you got everything? So you must have a pecan pie. I mean, I was it, Is that a saying? Yeah, we don't really dig down on expression. I'm going to dig down on what you guys say. You talk now. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a precedentitation again and just a little bit. You don't bit sound of, like a cat. You sound like a lady. How's that? I'm just Bader. Can you help? I, uh, Achum wasn't saying anything. I was just telling you what Achum was doing. Well, Dispater is out here with us now, and so is Senior Pets. Hey, guys, how's it going? <laughs> I've lost control Let's of the just multiverse. Just put the coin in the door and go. <laughs> Are you guys putting the coin in the door and just walking past him? Yeah, I feel like we could have more fun. I'm sorry. But sure. Hey, Dispater, we, we have a coin that's going to fit that, I'm pretty sure. Should we just like sl slide it right in? Do you want to come? Oh, do, do I want to come? Uh, no. No, no, no. I, I, I don't know what's beyond those doors, but I, I've heard it gets worse. The farther down you go, and uh, this is about the worst I can handle. What's that the boss always says? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's the hell I deserve right here. No, you, you folks go, but um, kids, can I give you a piece of advice? I'm a couple thousand years older than you, so I know a thing or two. Shoot. Sure. Nothing happens down here without Asmodeus knowing. If you're here, if you win who wants to be a bajillionaire, if you have a dollar. It's all because he wants you to. So, if I was you, wherever you're going, I'd find out what he's planning and I'd pray that it isn't too hard for you. Who do you pray to down here? Mm. Yeah. There's only one person to pray to. And he steps into the elevator and looks at you and says, him. And then the elevator hisses closed and lowers itself out of sight. All right, that was not particularly helpful, actually. Kind of cryptic. <laughs> sure, I, I feel like, I mean, I feel like we just do the coin thing, right? I mean, like, otherwise, what do we just go back down the elevator to the the maze we were in? That's the only yeah, option. Yeah, no, I feel like we go to... It's like a dedicated yeah, we, elevator just for those two floors. Can we go get Carl and then go through? Because I feel like Carl's oh, not going to come with us. Carl? Carl better come with we'll us. We'll probably be here somehow. I don't. I have a feeling he that is. he's like the between realms kind of dude. Mm -hmm. You place your golden coin into the smooth slot and the doors at the back of Despater's office open into darkness. As you step inside, you feel nothing. No heat, no cold, no lightness, no weight, no nothing. And then you hear a voice that says, you guys did some nice stuff back there. I mean, nothing amazing, but not bad either. Slowly, the blackness around you forms into shelves, a floor, miles and miles of merchandise, and a human man in a tank top <gasps> takes shape in front of you and says, hi, I'm Purgatoni D. Let's get you guys some stuff. <laughs>
Can you guys hear my son cackling and singing in the background? <laughs> I no. cannot. No. Okay. But like, cool. why, I'm not going to cut that out if it makes it in. So you know. Okay. <laughs> The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2024. All rights reserved.